Live on Stream It Sports, Northern Colorado, it's Windsor 4A Playoff Football. Presented by Associates and Family Medicine. This broadcast is brought to you by Schrader Oil. Fuel your day by Associates and Family Medicine in Northern Colorado. Be heard, be well. By Peterson Toyota in Fort Collins. Everything cars made easy. And by First Bank. Visit any of our convenient locations in Northern Colorado. First Bank, banking for good. And now for the play-by-play, here's David Haas and Randy McCoy. Welcome to Colorado State 4A High School football today on Stream of Sports from Windsor High School in Windsor, Colorado. Number two seed, Windsor Wizards, hosts the number 15 seed, Broomfield Eagles. This exclusive playoff broadcast is brought to you by Associates and Family Medicine. This is Randy McCoy along with David Haas and Tucker Hamilton as our cameraman today. And uh, David, we've got a big 4A matchup today here on Stream of Sports. What a great day to play, too. We're about to see the kickoff coming. Captains are out at midfield. Captains today for the Wizards. It's Windsor 4A As playoff we, football. Presented by Associates and Family there. Medicine. Right outside Live on Stream today, But uh, Brett Freitag, number 27, along with Zach Watts, number 64. Braden Peterson, number 80. And Isaiah Corgan, number 39. And Randy, these are two teams right now, number two seed and number 15 seed for Broomfield. Windsor had a great year this year, nine and one, six and four for the Eagles from Broomfield as they are entering the field now to their fans across the way. Nice turnout by them coming up here, but if you look at the uh, the records, you can throw it out. Broomfield's a team that's no stranger to the playoffs. Yeah, this is, uh, Windsor is, like I said, number two seed and we're having a, uh, having a little difficulty here, so. Have you take it there, Dave? We'll be looking to the outside today, so it's a we're, we're fortunate to be able to bring this to you. We are outside the press box, so a little bit more wind than uh, you'll normally get from our broadcast, but what a great day to play. Windsor's going to receive, looking into a late fall sun, too. It's going to be a difference, I think, in some plays today. You see the shadows from the players, Randy. They're already flattening out uh, to an angle, and but uh, we'll take the weather no matter what today. Yeah, it's uh, our first experience doing an outdoor broadcast. And uh, so it's game time here for a playoff football. Here's Mr. David Haas. So Ike, the kicker for the Eagles, approaches it, knocks it straight down the middle. That carries well. What a strong leg for a freshman. Ramirez back deep and uh, sails over his head. So touch, touch back and first and 10 for the Wizards at their own 20. We're gonna go through our stats kind of as the game goes along today. We noticed that uh, the Eagles reported nine games and they played 10, so we think they're missing a game so along the way. So if, if any of those athletes, uh, we don't get them all out there. But one thing I can say, they've got a shared group of kids running and catching the ball. Very similar to Windsor too. They both play the flex bone and this is a game that could be a quick one, Randy, with the way they try to keep the ball on the ground. Apodec under center, toss right. First the outside. Eagles do a nice job though, getting to the perimeter. Maybe a gain of a yard. Two teams here, Randy, would love to just keep the ball in there and drive the ball down the field and uh, eat that clock. Broomfield starting off on defense today. Just some of those names you'll see. Kennedy, Caleb Kennedy, one of the captains, six tackles a game. Uh, a leader out there, four tackles a game from Noah Jensen to number 43. And uh, Trace Hadamito also at five tackles a game, so active on that Eagle defense. Apodaca now looks, single fullback behind him, slot stacked back right now on the left side. Option left side, balls in the air, it's free on the ground. Looked like a little play on the mesh. Official goes up and signals third down, so Windsor dodges a bullet early. Officials today, the white hat, the referee, Mark Rademacher, umpire Paul Holland, Gary Kitzman, the line judge. Headlines was Brian Rourke and Mason Smith, back judge. Apodaca will put on a fair amount of mileage back and forth. They do bring it in from the sideline with a quarterback, not on a relay with a receiver. When you don't throw the ball that often, uh, you don't really have the receivers running it out. Inside tackle, that ball's on the ground again. That time, Broomfield did get it. Trying to run that inside trap play, the underhand, uh, the inside give 
And a huge break right now to start the game for the Eagles. They're gonna start the ball first and 10 on the 14 yard line of Windsor. And uh, try to get a little fancy right away, Randy. Well, and you know, there's probably a few jitteries and oh, you know, yeah. a little nervous and. Well, you're all hyped up, it's easy Saturday to go. Saturday afternoon, you're yeah. used to being out and hiking or something, so. <laughs> well, you know what, it's, they're still, you know, it's a playoff game. Uh, they come in the number two seed. They know that they're expected to win here, but uh, Broomfield, you know, they're going to give the shot. So pistol formation, give straight up the middle. Solid tackle. Wow. Knocked down right away, stepped in the hole. Gorman, the carrier. Gained about a yard. Gorman will be the leading receiver and carrier for the Eagles. And I think that was Cop Cow, number 36, that stepped up there and just dropped him. Great form tackle. So brings up a second and nine. Out pattern thrown, oh tipped boy. in the air, almost caught though on the far sideline. Nice break by the linebacker to get the outside, got a hand up. Uh, the quarterback for the Eagles, Stephen Crell, he's about 6'3", Randy, a lefty. He's got a good, strong arm, but yeah. uh, that one, he needed to get a little under it, didn't he? Yeah, he came out uh, well, Came out surprised me with that left hand. We weren't, yeah, you know, yeah, we were setting yeah. up, didn't look down there. and. Uh, well, and you look you look at the type of offense they run. They, you see there's, they're, they're setting up very similar to a lot of flex bone, a lot of tights. Now they got two tight to left side, single receiver down here near. Crell looks left side, fires down low. And just a little wide of his intended receiver. That was for Hunter Nassar, number 84. Peoples on the coverage there. He put it down where nobody had the you know chance to get it but him, but he just needed to bring it a little bit more square to the numbers. So fourth down, Ike will be out to attempt the field goal. Spotted 19, making a 29 yarder. Good snap, nice hold, plenty of leg. Wow. And good, drives that deep in the end zone. I'm telling you one thing, when I looked it up earlier, Ike is a ninth grader, and that is a really strong leg yeah, for any is. age in high school. Well, it's great form, too, right there. And uh, wow, what a, uh, so sorry, folks, had a little bit of a bumpy intro there. We uh, went to go online, and we're not able to do that right now. We are recording this, so you'll be able to go back and see, but we will be online here in Since a minute. Since the technology minute. allows it, yes. Our uh, president and guru, Phil Mildren, is working on it as we speak. I just tweeted out. So again, we want to thank Associates and Family Medicine for uh, being willing to step up and sponsor this broadcast today. So Windsor, after a shaky start, We'll receive the next kick. This one, Ramirez gets back, catches it outside the goal line. He'll be able to take up the middle. Got an edge, strong driving. Goal goes out about to 35. Had a speed yard. bump there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. And uh, one of those athletes that we've seen already play a couple times this year, uh, just a multi-tasking kind of athlete for the offense at, uh, for Windsor. But also, uh, this is not his probably his primary sport, Randy. I've Talk to his uh, dad. He's going to go play lacrosse at St. Bonaventure next year, so good luck to him. Wins are now trailing, though, 3 0. Back out in the flex bone, two splits. Fake right away. Oh. Sack from behind on the blitz. Apodac had no chance. Let me tell you, folks, the Broomfield Eagles have come to play today. They've, yeah. they've read everything. They see the 15-2, but I'll tell you what, Broomfield is a proud high school yeah. in the athletic world. Well, and we've seen them in state championships. We've seen them in the quarterfinals the last three or four years. It's a, not, not strange, the playoffs at all. There is a tradition there. So loss about four on the play. The yeah, Abedek had no chance. And uh, you know what? If you, you wait on offense and let them dictate what you've got to do, you're, you're half beat anyways of defense. And that's not a team that sacks. They've only had five on the season so far. Option Another. again, balls on the ground. Apodaca was hit just as he's trying to get rid of it, and uh, Ramirez is lucky to get on it. So right now, everything up front is dominated by the Eagles. They're pushing them back. Loss of about three on that one. 
Big crowd here, though, to cheer them on. Randy, what a great day to play. School spirits never lacked in this town. Plenty of size on that line for the Eagles for a run type of offense. Apodaca option right side, nowhere to go. Completely swallowed up. So Collins to tackle number 89. And it really was just a choice of two evils. He was going to run into one or two different defenders. There's nowhere for him to go. Nobody really bid on the mesh, on the mesh for the fullback. Maris is your punter. So welcome you watching live here on Stream of Sports. Had a couple of difficulties. Uh, what you missed is a fumble. Broomfield picked it up, went three and out, and kicked a field goal. So we've got a 3 nothing score. Ramirez looking. That one's going to go out of bounds. That one just tried the rugby-style punt and kind of went off his toe. That's not going to go. That's going to be inside right at the 35-yard line. So it starts go, not the one you want if you're a Wizard fan, but uh, 35 yards is a little further than the last time inside the 15. And Wizards coming out just a little uh, tentative, and uh, I'd say that's a but good also Broomfield's come out and, and there's like, you know what, we need to be aggressive if we're gonna win this game. Well, two big physical defenses here. The offense is, you know, it's one that you kind of get your rhythm. And right now, Windsor has found none of that. Correll back in the pistol still again. Gorman set, gives straight up the middle, just straight dive play. Swallowed up by the inside of that defense. Fry tagged in on the tackle. And hear a familiar public address announcer in the background there, so he. Yeah, we just try to keep up. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got it going on. Randy McCoy, David Haas here with you. Second and nine now, need to get inside the 25 yard line for the yard to gain. Step motion, Crow looks and fire, fires again. And uh, that's one of those, Randy, where you can tell he just didn't flip his feet far enough and that ball's low again. Yeah, he's uh, so far he missed a couple openers, I'd say open, but uh, just by a little bit, so. Well, as you, as you look, you know, you've, you've got to get those linebackers on us right now. Everybody's flying around to stop the run. There's several players with a few hundred yards rushing, no real dominant total uh, for either, you know, for either team. Apodaca leads rushing and passing, obviously, for the Wizards. Third and nine, Corral rolls left side. Got the edge, fires to the end zone. Well, that's Defensive gonna back be a just touchdown. fell down. Defensive back got turned around and tripped and fell and went to the ground, and I tell you, the, the pass was one of those you didn't want to have to see thrown right away. We've got a player down on the ground now for the Wizards at the midfield. So with that timeout for the injury, we're gonna step back here and uh, take a look at how that uh, play unfolded. It was just a long rollout, got around containment there, and. Uh, Correll was able to find his man in the end zone. Play was, uh, like I said, it was one of those moments where you throw the jump ball and the defensive back just kind of stumbled coming out of his turn. Receiver made a nice catch looking back into the sun. So after that touchdown, we're waiting for the PAT. We're going to take a break. You're watching Stream of Sports. This is how your bank sees the world. How do they see you? Be an individual at First Bank. Banking for good. Back here now, the Windsor player able to get up and move off the field himself. Just a, took a big shot. Avery Westfall, the player down. 
big block on that perimeter as he's trying to get the outside. So now as you see the PAT coming, Broomfield lines up in a shifting, swinging gate. Goes back somewhere along the way. You have to honor that every time. Just puts it in, in their mind, doesn't okay, it? Something else to think about. So Ike now waiting for the PAT, the snap. Good hold, nice spin of the laces. He powers it through. I tell you, Ike is an exceptional young kicker. So 6.53 left here in the first quarter. Broomfield with a 10 to nothing lead, and I don't think anybody expected nope. anything like this in the first uh, five minutes of this ball game. Well, right now I think the story is the Broomfield defense just playing really uh, strong, very aggressively. Like I say, coming into the game, they only had five sacks, so right now the pressure's been dialed up, and uh, we'll just put it on the carpet a couple times. I think you see that, like to see this game settle down now. They'll get behind uh, their, uh, their big D1 commit, uh, Watts, who's going to go to Wyoming next year and get to continue his career on Saturdays, and he will, I think you need to set, set that tone, start driving that ball downfield as we've seen them do so much. But it's certainly... Taking the noise from the west yeah, side of the say, field away here. Hasn't sucked it? a little bit of the wind out here. Yep. The uh, it got quiet. Almost capacity. Windsor Great Stadium. turnout today. High kick. Ramirez waiting about his one yard line. Takes it in. Looks up the middle. Tries to find an opening. One cut out past the 25 yard line. So good return. <laughs> 91 on the. Uh, Tackle, tackle. Yeah. Santiano Salgado, downfield. Special teams, big deal. I mean, if you get the ball past the 20, you're always happy with that kind of kick return. We've seen Ramirez do a lot more even on the prior one. So back in the center, Apodaca now. Flexbone, reverse left side, Ramirez trying to get the outside, has to cut up field, powers his way forward. Gain of about four. Nice cut up field. He put that, stuck that foot in the turf and turned it right up north-south, didn't he? Yeah, and, and Windsor just needs to calm down and and do what do what got them here, you know. Yeah. Wow. Trying to reinvent things here and uh, go with your guys that uh, had that kind of production for you. Ramirez is certainly one of those. And if you're a coach at Windsor, you say, listen, they've only had to travel very few very few yards to get those 10 points. So mm -hmm. uh, we we don't shoot ourselves in the foot. We'll be good. Fullback gives straight up the middle, slides off top. Kind of taken down a little high there, not by the headgear, though. Looked funny, but I don't think he had a hold of the uh, face nope, mask. No, nope, no, just kind of clubbed him across the top. He's Montag just trying to slide out there outside the guard slot and uh, didn't quite make it. Gain of maybe one, third and six. They got to get across the 36-yard line for the first down. Two receivers split here near side. Top side, wide split. Apodaca back to throw, looks down the middle, he's got room to run, takes off, he's going to be caught, balls on the ground. Run again. I think they're going to call him down, we'll see. I think they're looking to see if he was down. I thought his knee was. Yep. And they're going to yeah. give it to it him. It was just on the edge, he was, thought he was going to try to throw it, but. Uh, he, he was he everything but down, he was in the grasp, yeah. he was going down, but. Yeah. I, well, and you try to make a play, you try to make something extra happen. And uh, what you do is. Uh, um, Try to do a little too much, you know, so and he was in the traffic there and the ball just came loose. It's a bang, bang play, so. For the third time in a row, Broomfield is gonna be starting on the Windsor side of the field in a near red zone situation. And this is one of those times where as a, uh, a coach, you say, okay, we just need that one stop. We need to get something to happen here, good. Well, and Broomfield's gone to the air, so there's a, there's a play out there to be made, isn't there? Yeah, well, I'd say, and Crowell threw for over 1,000 yards this year, and a timeout's going to be taken by Coach Hubbard on his side after all that shifting. I think he knew he was close to a delay. So with the timeout here on the field, leading 10 to nothing, Brewfield and Wizards. You're watching Stream of Sports. Wayne, everyone knows by now that Schrader's Country Stores have the best car washes around. They don't need to see you standing in the car wash explaining the undercarriage wash, the rocker panel spray, the protective finish application, and the jet dryer. No, Wayne, all you have to do is see the beautiful shine on my nice clean car. No muss, no fuss, and I'm certainly not all wet. <laughs> you won't get soaked at Schrader Country Store car washes, just shiny clean. 
Associates and Family Medicine has been providing quality family care to the Northern Colorado community for over 50 years. Here's Dave back to the game. Handoff straight up the middle. Not much the game. Both teams really being pretty stingy on the run. Randy, just a big pass. I think, as you said, it's that short field position that uh, Broomfield's enjoyed so far early. That's the difference. And uh, Windsor defense, other than one play, hasn't given up anything. So maybe a loss of half a yard. Thanks again to our sponsors, Associates and Family Medicine, bringing this game to you. Knowing that uh, urgent care and kid care and sports physicals are all part of what uh, every one of these athletes have been through and all these families. Crowell looks left side, fires downfield, behind, almost a great catch. Wow, he was, had it right I mean, in his hands. Well, I want to tell you, credit, credit Darren Peoples, number 17, for the coverage there. Goes into and, and gets into the body of the receiver at number 84. Uh, Nasser and just separates him from the ball. He did have both hands on it, but Peoples on the close took that away. So third and ten now. Cole, a nice looking arm. And, yeah, uh, yeah, strong live arm on the junior. He's got another year to develop that too. And Trips near side, flag right away. Going to have a procedure call. Line judge is going to stop it before they go anywhere. And you can hear the Windsor crowd wanting to. Getting back into it, helping yeah. their kids out. Well, now if you, you see the way the game is unfolding right now, I mean, they, they need a couple of good things to happen, don't they? They need that spark. Because, boy, Broomfield goes up 17-0 or even 13-0. It, it's, it's a long game. Although we saw saw games this year where teams oh, got yeah. ahead early. and uh, Well, and it's long, happened long two wins to are, you know, The skyline just two, week, just two or three weeks ago. Yep. So. Well, 4.30 to play here in the first. Third and about 15 now for the Eagles. Two slots, fake steps back row, looks, takes his time, good protection, fires man way oh, downfield. Through to the back of the end zone, a little too much on it, but then the only one that really had the chance. Boy, I'd mind you, Kenny Snake Stabler right there, didn't it? <laughs> what a pretty spiral well, he threw, he, though. He put it out there, Garner's the only one that had a chance, and uh, you know what, you take the shot downfield, didn't work, uh, he's still gonna live again here, but that's gonna be a punt situation now. Certainly would have been a long field goal after that penalty. You, you, you put it out there about a 55-yarder. Wind but is... Uh, when, you're, when you're on this side of the field, you've got to consider it. You've really got to watch for fake. Yes. Because I mean, if, if they punt in the end zone, they're, they're yeah. only going to lose. They're only going to gain 15 yards. Good snap. Rugby style. Looks around. Pooches it. That one's going to go out of bounds. No return. Wow, what a... And a really nice punt. That was great. Drops it inside the 10 yard line. So inside the 10, first and 10 now for the Wizards. And it's time for their offense to just kind of settle down as you said before, but three three separate drives all in and a fumble. Yeah, and the one thing about Windsor, their offense is really not set up uh, to make huge comebacks either because they're nope. predominantly running and the clock runs and different things like that. So uh, right now is the time to do it. 416 left here in the first. Apodac under center. Split both sides, single fullback. Toss right side, got the edge. Got to get upfield, just a speed run around the end, goes in, makes nice yardage out of that. That's carry from number nine, Jaden Trout. And one thing you'll notice with Windsor, you may see five runs in a row with five different people. Yep. Well, and Tanner Garner, pretty good, pretty good linebacker, number eight, 33, actually more like a strong safety type. 3.54 left here in the first quarter. Gain of seven, maybe eight yards on first down, exactly what that offense needs. Toss left side though, swips right outside. The defensive end was inside, Ramirez stepped around it, but Randy, the defensive end, he almost walked into the toss. Yeah. I mean, if he had seen it, it would have been really close. Great, so the, great cut there, great vision, and you know, sometimes you see a guy run right into the, the teeth there, but instead he, was able to. Well, and Ramirez did the smart thing, as you said. He's turned it straight south and went and got the first down. That's the first first down of the game here at 325 left in the first for the Wizards. That's what that offense needs. They just get their usual pattern back here and start crawling away some yardage. Fake, turn around, give the fullback up middle. He busts the left side. Well, I'll tell you, doing a good job of getting to the ball, aren't they? Yes, they are. And Decent game, gain of four. You know, you get up 10, though, you, in some ways you don't, you know, if they do score and take off seven or eight minutes, uh, you're still kind of okay because you're not going to hold Windsor down no. scoreless in this game. 
Beautiful day here. Thanks for tuning in to Streaming Sports. David Haas along with Randy McCoy. Tucker Hamilton's our cameraman today. Special broadcast North brought Dakota's to you. own Tucker yeah. Hamilton. Special broadcast brought and sponsored <laughs> to you by Associates and Family Medicine. He's got the million dollar smile, ladies. So. Just saying. Apodak back to throw. He's got a man down the sideline. Fires it. Catches on side there. Great effort. Nice catch. Number 80, Braden Peterson. The big play that the Windsor Wizards need. And I think we're going to get a pass interference call on Broomfield. They'll certainly turn that down, Randy. That's the ball right there. Apodaca put it out there in front, let his receiver make a play. And you know what? How many times do we say the quarterback just needs to throw it out there and let his receiver make a play? And that's exactly what they did on that. He threw it to the inside. The receiver saw it, the defender didn't, and he ran right underneath it. Well, and as you see the ball, I mean, Apodac could put a lot of air under it, give Peterson time to adjust, and the defensive back who was out there by himself, that corner was on an island, nobody else out there to help him with the safety over the top. Shows the run-heavy defense they're playing. Pull, Apodac on the right side, quarterback keeps, turns it upfield. Momentum back on that Windsor offensive side now. Tackle by the Broomfield Eagles, Mason Watt, number 72. That's one thing I was impressed, Randy, but the, the down linemen pursue really well for Broomfield. And you're, if you're going to, you've got to be able to play your assignment for, against the Windsor offense, that's for sure. It'll be a timeout by Windsor. So with that, we'll take a timeout as well. You're watching Stream It Sports. This life. It isn't for everyone. It's not for the modest, the cautious, the faint of heart. It's for the dauntless, the determined. This life, it isn't just a craft or another career. It's a calling. Right now, get 0% APR for 60 months on a new 2017 Toyota Tundra or get 1750 cash back. Toyota, let's go places. We're back here, 10 to nothing, Broomfield ahead of Windsor. A kind of surprising start, but Windsor's driving and they seem to have found something now, Dave, and uh, the long pass, which well, was, again, a great pass by the quarterback. He was able to throw it out and let his uh, receiver run under it. Well, I think they're also going a little more north-south and runs, trying to go wide on a defense. Looks like they're really doing a great job pursuing. Fake the middle up there, bubble screen outside, a little high on the throw, trying to turn it back up field. And ball and you, just about came out there. I tell you what, that was close. And you, you know my thoughts on that play, to yeah. throw it out there, and there was four defenders, no blockers. Well, Chase Lancrete was the only receiver out there. Just give him a chance to try to make a move, but he turned it back inside and ran into the pursuit of the Eagles and uh, didn't really get much of a yardage trying to make a big play. Brings up third and four. Need to get inside the 24-yard line. I, I would imagine this is four-down territory. Motion, toss side, right side, red right away. Oh, wow. Broomfield's playing those ends right now. It's going to be really tough to go wide on this defense, Randy. The ends are outside. Any motion near them, they're turning straight up field. And it, that's just what you get. Well, and they're, in some ways, they're kind of daring them to throw the ball because they yeah. know Windsor, uh, most of their passing game is from element of surprise. And so uh, yeah. they're kind of going all out for the run. So far, it's worked. Yeah, no, the wide game right now, they're, they're, they've got three down linemen, two defensive ends. Any motion their way, they're just stepping straight up field. Because I said the play before Ramirez, that the toss is almost intercepted. Because so yeah, it's a wide lane, it's a wide lane toss. So Ramirez back to punt. Just trying to take it downfield. He's taking his time, just pushes it forward. Nice job, ball, fair catch called about the 15 and made. 17 and a half seconds left. They got the second clock on this. Uh, but we wouldn't expect anything different from Windsor High yeah, School no. here. They love their football and sports, don't they, uh, here at Windsor well, High School? We got a chance to do uh, volleyball games, an excellent volleyball team they've got here. Uh, great season this year. The uh, basketball season just around the corner. Those kids yeah. are already on the court, both girls and boys practicing. Yeah, so we'll have a nice slate of Windsor High School basketball and both boys and girls to finish out our first broadcast season. Thank you so much for watching. and. Uh, fans of Windsor Sports and fans across Colorado today. I imagine there's a lot of people sneaking a peek at this game. Yep. So we welcome you Broomfield fans as well today. Corral takes a snap, gives straight up the middle. 
Winds are doing a good job stuffing run, maybe just a gain of two there. Broomfield, one of those teams that plays 4A in football, but they play 5A, I think, in everything else. Yep. But they just uh, came up to 5A in basketball, so they are in the conference over in Fort Collins. And that's going to be the end of your first quarter. Our score, 10 to nothing after one. You're watching Stream of Sports. If this is how your bank sees the world, how do they see you? Be an individual at First Bank. Banking for good. So we're back here now with uh, David Haas, Randy McCoy, and for a football. And Dave, if you'd have told me we started this little venture with Windsor High School football that on November 11th, we'd be able to s sit up here Comfortably. Comfortably and uh, broadcast a high school football game outside. I would have told you you're crazy. Oh, you're talking to the referees before the game and the umpire, the back judge uh, said, I go, did you bring your sunscreen? And just one of those kind of days you can have here in Colorado. But uh, right now it's all about Broomfield and uh, what they've done here so far this day. I was really aggressive on defense, took care of uh, the ball one time, made one long offensive play. And other than that, the uh, Windsor's played them pretty solid. It's just Windsor has dropped the ball and given them the short field, so it's resulting in a field goal and a touchdown, down 10 to nothing. 59 sunny degrees out here. So we are uh, awaiting somebody. Hey, I'm not sure what the holdup here. Umpire still has his foot on the ball, but uh, we got the referee over here talking on the side. And it might be just a little bit of a heat delay because of a. Nope, no, we actually have a field issue. And uh, the. Uh, see the athletic director, Kanagi, out there too. It's somebody, I would imagine, it's blood or somebody's breakfast. But if it's, if it's blood, if it's blood, you've got to take care of that. That's just uh, one of the things they do these days. So we, uh, that's one of the bigger diff different delays we've had so far. I have this year. never seen on a football field. That's two things I've never seen. We know we also saw a couple of three weeks ago where the band got a delay of game yeah. penalty at Rocky Mountain because they didn't get their pregame deal <laughs> fast enough. Fat program fast enough, and they threw a flag on them, cost them five yards. So. So the never know what you'll see here in Northern Colorado. Lawn, lawn care is taken care of here on the artificial field. Yep. Tight end slips other side, left side now for Broomfield. Short motion, give the eye back, runs up field, first down yardage and more. Nice tackle by Peoples on the outside, but not before the first down is gained. Six foot, 180 pound junior Tories for yeah. Broomfield and a uh, good looking run. And you know, Peoples tackled him or got in his way. Well, any, any, as you all hear me always say, any tackle by a defensive back is a good one. You get him to the ground, but that's a size difference there. He's came up and uh, showed his metal, though, by uh, certainly putting a shoulder into him. First down, though, now for the Eagles on their 29-yard line. Still in the pistol formation. Lead blocker left side, ISO play, burst in the middle of the ocean. Torres upfield, gained another first down. Just that offset eye they run there, the fullback, Randy, was sitting behind the guard. He pulls over behind. They block down on the interior lineman. It's just a, basically an isolation or a trap play coming left side. And right now, physically, Broomfield is uh, going back to uh, north-south running the ball, aren't they? They used to call that smash mouth football, didn't they? Yeah, and that was a pretty good version of it right there. Gain of 10 plus. Well, you know, they haven't been able to move the ball on the ground at all in the last two yard, two, uh, two, two carries. carries got over 10 yards each. Pistol formation, two tights, motion far side, give again straight up the middle. No that go there. That ain't gonna work. Nope. 
interior of the Gorman just swallowed up by the interior there. Avery Westfall, who was hurt earlier, glad to see him back out on the field there along with number 39 and and just making a Corgan on the outside. You've, you've got to take that away, but you've got to get after them on, on first down like that and, and stop them out. So this west side of the stands now coming back to life. Throwing candy up in the... Yeah, I was going to say, I, somebody's checking their arm there. Throw it back to look. Because I'm kind of hungry. It, fires the out. Got a man wide open. Hits him in stride. Moving up field near the 40-yard line and another first down for Broomfield. You know what I saw there in the young quarterback, Lefty? He, uh, he didn't muscle up as much. The first few passes, he really muscled up, really tried to overthrow at that time. He yep. laid that right in his uh, receiver's... Yep. Oh, Belly, yeah. right yeah, where you yeah. want it. Matthew Foster there. He leads the team rushing and receiving yardage, over 600 yards total offense. And uh, just that little simple out pattern, but he turned up field and yards after catch there, about five. So the third first down on this drive for the Eagles. Gets him across midfield, 40-yard line of the Windsor. Toss, wide side. Gets the edge, turns up field, got a couple blocks. Boy, way to pick his spots there. Yeah, and sometimes you think, you know, a, a, a run to the side like that is all about, you know, just speed. But if you could let your blocker get in front of you, he gained four or five yards just on that. Well, I think we can, it's safe to say, Broomfield didn't come in here intimidated. No, no. To say Coach Hubbard's team and that, that uh, program is no stranger to the playoffs over the years. We've done a couple of their playoff games and did get enough of the first down. So time consuming drive here, 940 left in the second quarter. Inside handoff. Uh, and what a great read that time by number 43 for the Wizards. The linebacker comes up and just Kappel, Kellen Kappel, number 43. Great read, saw the lineman pull in front of him and just met the ball carrier right in the hole. Was not fooled one bit and uh, picture perfect tackle, huh? Now, nope, that's exactly how you draw it up. Hit what you see, kept his face mask up, slid his shoulder off the side, drove him back, lost a half a yard. Clock running under nine to play here in the half. Short, straight up the middle, dive play, just finds the seam, gets through it, runs all through a couple tackles in the secondary, down inside the 15-yard line, Randy, and that's just a quick hitter. Takes straight seam there and just gets the ISO block and runs through it. I, I tell you what, I mean, Gorman showing some serious breakaway speed too, isn't he? Yeah, that was uh, six foot, 177 pounds. That was a punishing run, Running wasn't it? a little it? bigger than that, isn't he? Yeah, he looks a little bigger than 177, but. Bringing it all. Motion again, left side, toss out left side. Lead blockers, two people out there going through, back inside the 10, inside the five. Ball may be on the ground, scrambling for it. Ball popped out near the goal line. Boy, did you see all the blockers out there? That yeah, almost looked had, like a student body left, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, there, there was plenty of blue, blue and white jerseys in front of him, and if the ball did hit the ground, it didn't go far, but they recovered it either way. First down inside the two-yard line. I'll tell you what, they score a touchdown here, and uh, it's got uh, really quiet this crowd over here. Adjustment time, isn't it? Well, and I think Broomfield made some adjustments offensively. Yeah, right now they're uh, they're moving it strong. Tight end flips left side. Quarterback Crowell takes it straight in. The whole offensive line was in the end zone. That's an easy call. So the keeper can't call it a sneak. He wasn't under center. Yeah, and there was no sneaking to that. Everybody saw yeah. he was big six three. Uh, quarterback well, was coming in. Just follow. You. It's one thing you can't scheme for on a defense when the quarterback runs the ball that well because he's just up, follows the fullback in. Ike again to attempt another PAT. Folks, this is a 15-2 seed game. Yeah. It'd be about as big upset as you could have. Plenty of time for the Wizards to uh, get going, but so far they've been they've uh, mis been mistake ridden. Yep. High snap. Just got it past 
peoples who came across there, but Ike's PAT is good, driven well into the south end zone. It's 17 to nothing, Randy. You couldn't have uh, done a better job of quieting the west side of this field. Uh, um, a couple of mistakes earlier, I'd say some fumbles, really short fields, took care of it uh, with a field goal and a, and a touchdown pass. But now you look at what that drive was there. Uh, that was all runs. That was all runs. And as you saw a uh, picture there of the scoreboard uh, as they did the extra point, 7.57 left here. And you see Broomfield getting ready to huddle up. Yeah, nice long four minute drive, kept the clock going. What a, gay, what a day out here, though, at uh, Windsor High School for this game. Weather's just perfect. Well, it's, you know, it's one of those days there's no excuse to not get out. And a very, very full stands over here. Broomfield, nice job across the way, too, packing the visiting stands. Yes, they are. Ike to kick off again. Ramirez back deep, standing at his five. Low driver's going to be taken. Good job of coming up, getting that yeah, to the 10-yard line. They almost ran up on it. One cut in the open field. Now he's got some room. Still moving forward. Spun off a couple tackles out past the 30. So decent field position to start again for the Windsor offense. They need to string together. Randy, I think this, this drive needs to end up in a score, doesn't it? Yeah, it needs to. Well, I think even just for their mental yes. uh, attitude towards this. You don't want to come in here at half and, and uh, not scored and... Uh, you know, because that'll start messing with your head a little bit. So I think if they can come down here, score a touchdown, they're right back in this. And oh. even a field goal would do something, but they need to. After the last drive there by Broomfield, too, able to control the ball on the ground the entire way. You know, you, you, you've got to say, okay, what's go, what's going to get us back in the game? Well, Napadaka certainly has the arm for it. Uh, he averages a touchdown about every third throw. They don't throw it with great efficiency. They throw it with good results, though. Toss right side, heads up field. A little scrum for the ball. He was certainly down before that. Gain of a couple. And so I, I think what's happened, I think Broomfield's speed to the outside maybe surprised the Wizards a little well, bit. Well, the scheme on that, too, like I say, any motion their way on pre-snap, the defensive ends come straight up field, and that's taken away that toss. And a couple times they've gotten nearly to this area where they could grab the toss. You know, that's just an adjustment to say, okay, what are you you're taking one thing away. What are you giving me? And uh, last time, that last... Uh, drive they did have success back up the middle linebackers are kind of deep that time though turns it around Apodeca pulls and runs and he is a running quarterback uh, folks he's uh well, he leads, leads the team both in rushing and, and, say, and passing he's he's the same as a he's the same as a running back so well he's gained almost 600 yards before today's game well over that now obviously but uh you know, they, they just need to be able to control the ball and get something downfield, get a plus, get something on the board, give them the chance to uh, uh, be the answer, you know, to what, what they've done to themselves mostly for the first half. Ramirez motion right side, fullback give. Tries to run the trap back across there, but uh, kind of ran into the slant of the defensive line. Well, Broomfield is just, they're just blowing up the offensive line right now on those uh, straight up the middle runs. Well, both the two interior guys playing basically your A gap, the A B gaps are on the outside of the, of the center. And uh, they are doing a great job of taking the fullback game away. And like I say, they've taken away the option, they've taken away the wide pitch, or that's the design of the defense today for Broomfield as it seems so far. And uh, if they can keep that up the rest of the game, you, your solution's got to come from somewhere else. So does Apodaca start running those quarterback keeps straight up the middle, that little delay off the fullback, just like trying to run there, and uh, he's going to be mobbed under. Big O number 76 for the Eagles. Recognize that right away. The captain, Kalen Knoll. All over that. Well, you know, we just did uh, the Windsor Fort Collins game couple or last week I guess it was and uh, you know if it wasn't for a couple of mistakes by Fort Collins uh, that they were very much in they it. were very much in that game so well I think also you're gonna have to start saying they have to test the outside of this uh, defense a little bit more the defensive backs there they're on an island the corners are out there straight man up safeties only play about six yards off the line of scrimmage so they're really not a deep cover Apodaca back to throw steps up in the pocket sees a man on the outside throws into coverage and almost picked off. That's a tough reception over there too, Randy, because those receivers looking right into the sun. If you see the shadows on the field, 
any ball to the wide side or the far side from the camera, you're going to have a, a lot to look back into. Well, you know, and you know, you got probably a 50-50 chance. You throw the ball down here like he did the last time to his uh, wide receiver on the left. You throw it up for grabs, and at that point, if you do throw a pick, it's the same as a punt. So, yeah, not the time. He did did a nice job of sitting in the pocket that time. Just didn't connect. Ramirez taking his time. Kicks it, kicks it away from the return man. Get that over end of the rugby style once. Down inside the 15 is going to roll dead there. Nice job there by the. Well, they covered it well, but then now it's just time for the Windsor defense. They've got to get a three and out. They need to have the ball back with 4.50 to play. They give up a couple of first downs. This half's going to be over and they won't score. So we'll take a short break here. You're watching Stream of Sports. You're watching Colorado 4A Playoff Football, presented by Associates in Family Medicine, live on Stream It Sports. Because I would see that if they stop them here in first or second down, there's a decent chance for a tie. I would think they get it. From sports, physicals, wellness exams, to flu shots, sick care, Associates in Family Medicine will put your family and your health first. Thank you to Associates and Family Medicine for their sponsorship of this event today. Snap. Well, looks left side, going to throw on first down. Fires it, takes it up. Ball kind of gets away from defensive backs, got to turn around. Once, once again. Yeah, it's going to be an interference call. That's a pretty easy one. Home, cr home crowd's not too excited about that call, are they? Well, I'll tell you, just the arm there, though, along that, uh, I mean, he, when you're, you're kind of on the island by yourself, you just got to make a play, and it's tough. That's tough at any level. That's tough on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, folks. Any defensive back uh, knows where that goes. So the, the your brain's almost uh, yeah. It's a, just got a gust of wind there. <laughs> Appreciate the backup here I got from the fans, but uh, I'm just going to say that I was trying to do the numbers. Crawled ball kind of got away from him on the spiral. It wasn't it didn't spin it quite well enough. But he's got a pretty good arm. He threw from the near the near hash. Out to the far side, about the 50-yard line. So that ball was in the air, a good 50 yards. But after the penalty downfield, it's a 15-yard penalty from line of scrimmage. So ball now first and 10, 30-yard line. Toss wide side. Fullback leading him up front. Nobody to hit. He's looking downfield for somebody to go. First down yardage and more. He'll go out of bounds. And... Well, that, that, that side of the field is all energized right now, aren't they? And that, that wide side, they've run that a couple times. There's something they're scheming right now that Windsor's not keeping up with, Randy, because that, that uh, lead blocker hasn't got anybody to hit until he's downfield five yards. Just a speed toss, and uh, it's worked twice really well. Plus, plus yardage of 10 or more both times. Roll back again in the pistol, single setback. Double flankers, more on that flex bone look, motion. Kind of a toss fake, wasn't really much of a fake on the outside, but nobody getting to the outside right now. Windsor just up the middle. And angles right now, I don't know what the difference blocking wise or what we got going, Randy, but uh, those tosses wide, just the difference between the two defenses are playing, long bots all over that, and right now Windsor's trailing it. Well, that six foot, 180 pound running back is Tough for Broomfield, I'll tell you what, you he's getting ahead of steam. Yeah. And uh, that's hard to get in front of that kind of uh, inertia. Well, and, and you, you look at the play itself, I mean, Grohl, I mean, it, it's, there's not really a mesh fake. They're really just kind of just points the ball to the other back who's not getting it and then just does a quick toss. Straight toss left side again, student body left. Once again, they got the edge, nobody out front. Blocker first down yardage and more big hit coming across by uh, Ramirez just to knock him down, but uh, Right now, that play is just a 10-yard gain every time. Basically, what that play reminds me of, they're playing bully ball. I mean, they're really just coming around and saying, here it is, and we're going to put some guys out here, and we're going to try to run it, and Windsor's got to step up and stop that. Yeah, well, yeah, the pursuit's not coming in from underneath, too, because they're getting the corner, and the corner is nobody to block out there. I mean, right now, it's like I say, it's, it's, it's a stacking defense for the inside, but uh, the outside's certainly vulnerable. Second and very short. Fake fullback again, spread everybody outside, gets up field, gain of about eight. And Every if time he, he touches the ball, it's 10 yards. Well, credit the 50, 60, 70 guys up front for Broomfield right now. They're playing really good football. They're controlling the line of scrimmage. 318 and left here in the second quarter. 
Caleb Kennedy, 52, along with uh, Luke Canale up front, 61, Isis, and uh, the other guys that are making the plays for Broomfield. Robinson, all the others that are, that are making these blocks, they're really doing a good job up front. First and 10, 2.54 o'clock running. Watching stream and sports playoff football. Once again, fullback gives straight up the middle. Just a little quick trap play. Windsor crowd trying to stay in it here. Some of the others out there give credit to, to Michael DiCamillis, number 57. Brian Capasso also, or Capasso probably on number 58, just to, when guys are working that hard up front, you want to give them all the credit you can, Randy. And uh, those running backs right now are certainly the benefit of it, aren't they? You say Capasso, I say Capasso. There you go. Gain of about three. Fullback give again. Straight up the middle, spins off one tackle downfield inside the 15, first down again. And that completed a pass, but uh, maybe the first one of the game for the touchdown, Randy. Since then, it's pretty much been on the ground. Torres has no regard for human life right now. No, yeah, no, he's <laughs> he's a hammer looking for a nail. Under two to play, like you want to draw it up. If you're beautiful, you're you're leading 17 to nothing, and you're taking the ball downfield methodically, running it. Same play again, trying to get the defensive tackle and the linebacker to widen out with that fake as uh, number 33 Garner kind of goes wide, and then just give the straight give up the middle. Again to 34, Torres. So what do you say here? We're getting ready to halftime. Coach Jones, you're coming into halftime here. You're going to be down at least 10 and maybe more, depending what goes on here. Give again to Torres, breaks the outside, goes by one, towards the end zone, gets close. Could be marked just short. Well, I mean, right now, the offensive line for Broomfield is dominating. That's just that there's no other way to go around it. Do have a flag on the play, though. It looks like the Eagles are going to get flagged. and uh, That's one of the few things they've, uh, mistakes they've made this uh, whole half. So ball move back to the 15, makes it second and 10. Spot foul downfield. That's why it, Ended up that way, just a break though that Windsor may need, as you said, there's a minute nine left. We have to see, someone's got a timeout left. Both teams uh, would want to take advantage as they can. You tell by our crowd, Mike, the breeze starting to pick up here at Windsor High School yeah. coming out of the north. Switch directions Crowd too, looking it? to fire, it goes the end zone, a little tall. Boy, he had his man right there, just a little bit on it and uh, tried to Tried to hit uh, Gorman, or Garner, excuse me, downfield, just missed him. Well, he had another 84, was running right down to the corner, and uh, the defender had kind of bit it to the inside a little bit. If he got him over there, he'd add another touchdown. So 51.7 seconds to play here in the first half. That stops the clock, third and 10 now. Certainly within field goal range for what we've seen of Ike's leg. Coming into the game, you know, Randy's seeing, okay, you've got a freshman kicker punter and kicker and place kicker and I'm like that's that's a tall order stepping in the playoffs for the first time and you only had to listen for a game or two but boy what a leg so no confidence issues there Corral rolls to his right the lefty needs a turn got a lot of time to throw and start to step up field hits quickly downfield inside near the five line. It's gonna be caught very close to the first down folks you're getting to experience Colorado right here Breeze coming in now pretty good. Very, for you know, our very uh, lot ears. A whole lot of dust from the north and some excavation work from homes being built just north of the field here. That's why your screen's gonna look like it's it's uh, got smoke on it. That's just dust. Well, maybe we can get that new camera shot like the NFL's gonna do on Thursday nights. See if Tucker wants to go out there and fly on a trapeze behind the... <laughs> Behind the quarterback like uh, Madden. You, you can see everybody's pants starting to whip pretty good. So down the field level, it's really blowing. And uh, a lot of those leaves that started off in Wyoming are coming across Windsor's football field now. Not much to stop them, is there? No. Beautiful setting here just near the Poudre River. Great complex here athletically. You see the baseball and softball fields across the way. And, and uh, we've got a 29 seconds left here. Fourth and one now, Broomfield's gonna go for it after their timeout call discussion 
you know what, way they've been stopped, this is a huge play for Windsor's defense, Randy. Stands rumbling here on the west side. Crowell's gonna follow his blocker straight up the middle, pushing towards the goal line. First down made, but not touchdown. Well, and it was good enough for a one-yard touchdown earlier, so they well, figured it Well, they got to hurry to get on the line of scrimmage. You're getting two. Clock start again, under 22 now. Kroll under center. Spikes it. I think that's a good call. Now you get a chance to run two plays pretty easily. Maybe three. Our uh, scoreboard doesn't give us timeouts left or not, and I didn't cover those, so I will try to do that in the second half if needed at point right now. But uh, I believe that's two for Burnfield. So ball right inside the th three yard line. I think we're gonna wish we'd have brought that tarp, huh? Yeah, Torres toss left side to Garner, but a nice job getting upfield by the Wizards this yes. time, not to be giving up that outside again, knock him down short and stop the clock. So a timeout's gonna have been called by Broomfield, their last of the half, 13 seconds left. And uh, really what you, you've gotta, you've gotta find something Positive to walk into that uh, locker room if you're Windsor. Yeah, and, and right uh, now here's their chance. Yeah, if you can stop them from scoring here, uh, it'd be huge because 24 nothing is going to. That's a tall order to come back, especially on a team that, again, prides itself in its running game. Well, just the fact that you know it's not like they're going to be playing in a vacuum. You're going to have you have to kick it to uh, Broomfield to start the third quarter. And, the way and you got to stop Broomfield, too. The way they've been running the ball, you know, three or four minutes off it, that's that's worth a score every time. One of the things we did get to celebrate today, Randy, before the uh, game started was the veterans and honoring yes. Veterans Day. We do want to. Nice job here. All those veterans in attendance all stood up and uh, said thanks. We said thanks to them. Wind's really picking up here now. 13 seconds left. Takes in the end zone, throws up the outside. It's going to be caught. Did he stay in? Yes, he did. A nice throw, I tell you what, by Crowell that time, Randy, because the ball, he had to play the win there. He hit Zachary Zur, Zach Zur, number 42, who just kind of came out of the backfield, slid underneath on a little crossing pattern, and uh, was wide open. but was hardest thing there to do is Kerr stayed in the end zone, dropped to at least one foot and made the catch. Cause that went, started taking the ball. Well, I was gonna say that was a touch pass too by the young quarterback and. Ike again with the PAT. It is a surprising 24 to nothing lead for Broomfield. The 15 seed visiting here at Windsor, the number two seed, 7.6 seconds left here in the half. Time enough for basically just a return. Again, ball was thrown way up in the air. Nice touch. Yeah, it really was. We're just trying to hold on to everything here on the table up here. High atop Windsor Field. We're wide open. So we got fooled, didn't we? Yeah, lulled in there, but uh, in 15 minutes, so it may be, Gus may go away. And say, you know, we also said too earlier that, you know, Broomfield's gonna get the ball to start the third quarter. That was an 85 yard drive. They took it four, four minutes plus. And so it's it, not just the offense is what you're saying that the no they're playing you know, both sides the, of the ball today, the aren't defense they? is going to have to stop Broomfield because even now Windsor comes down scores if they take six seven minutes to score again I can get to kick off ball's going to drop well over the end zone line Ramirez had no chance that's a touchback. And just when you look at it too, I tell you what, the, the way the wind's playing, the temperature's dropped about 15 degrees too. What a while ago was just a it was just a little cool in the shade. Now it's kind of gotten chilly. Yeah, and people who thought they were dressed for the day. One being me. <laughs> Very glad I brought my hoodie. You know, it's, it's just one of those plays where here you, you either snap and go down and you just you try to make a run. If you try to throw into the wind here, you might have more problems than you need. Straight fullback run, sideline, Monte goes out. Tackled, out of bounds, 1.4 seconds left. Montague, excuse me. Play gets to the outside. 
enough and, for him to uh, get the out of bounds. Windsor was ready to walk off, but there's one point. Oh, so they started the clock again. Yeah, there you go. As soon as they placed the ball, they started up. So that's the end of the first half. And a lot of happy Eagles fans across the way. They lead the number two seed team in 4A, 24 to nothing and half. We'll be back for the third quarter on Stream and Sports. This life, it isn't for everyone. It's not for the modest, the cautious, the faint of heart. It's for the dauntless, the determined. This life, it isn't just a craft or another career. It's a calling. Right now, get 0% APR for 60 months on a new 2017 Toyota Tundra or get $17.50 cash back. Toyota, let's go places. Great news! We broke our all-time sales record, and it's all thanks to my nephew, Skyler. Bro, it's Sky. After my brother made me hire Sky, I switched us to First Bank to make up for him. Now business is better than ever. <laughs> no matter the reason, switching to First Bank can help your business grow. Wayne? Everyone knows by now that Schrader's Country Stores have the best car washes around. They don't need to see you standing in the car wash explaining the undercarriage wash, the rocker panel spray, the protective finish application in the jet dryer. No, Wayne, all you have to do is see the beautiful shine on my nice clean car. No muss, no fuss, and I'm certainly not all wet. <laughs> you won't get soaked at Schrader Country Store car washes, just shiny clean. There comes a time in every athlete's life when their participation in sports is coming to an end, and so officiating is a way to stay involved. The day I started officiating is just as fun as now. When I'm officiating, making decisions, a decision that's instantaneous, for me there's no greater feeling. I became an official because I wanted to give back. Get off the couch and get into the game. Become an official.
playing the, the game for many years and I decided I could either watch from the couch or get on the field and become part of the game. I became a judge because it was a natural transition from being a gymnast to coach, now judge. I love the large crowds, the excitement of the game, and you know what? I got the best seat in the house. Help these kids. Help this community. Become an official. After playing the, the game for many years, and I decided I could either watch from the couch or get on the field and become part of the game. I became a judge because it was a natural transition from being a gymnast to coach, now judge. I love the large crowds, the excitement of the game, and you know what? I got the best seat in the house. Help these kids. Help this community. Become an official. After playing the... So we're back here, Windsor High School, and Dave, it is a vastly different day, day now as it was when we started this broadcast, isn't it? Yeah, it was uh, temperate, warm, nice, relaxing, early, early, late fall, early winter kind of day. Now the, uh, the wind has come rushing down the plains, but it's a cold north wind and it's changed a lot. I mean, the uh, tape on the uprights on both end zones standing straight out, flagging that south end zone is pointing straight south. And if you're a wizard, uh, the uh, playoff hopes right now might be blowing away too. They've got a long hill to climb in the second half, down 24 to nothing. Yes, they do, and we got a shout out from our Padre, Eric Freehoff, who uh, is on assignment today and uh, listening in, so he sends his best wishes. So we'll have to see just, uh, there's there's two things, as you said, that Windsor's gonna have to battle. It's Eagles and wind, and now cold. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's Drop 15, 20 it's degrees. It's dropped pretty at least quickly. 15 degrees. <laughs> yeah, you can see the you, you can even see the uprights in the north end zone. They're wavering pretty good. And uh, as you, this game goes along right now. This is going to change the game. Uh, if you're throwing throwing with the wind, I mean, every quarterback, yeah, would you rather throw into it or against it? Well, it depends on the throw you're going to make. If you got a long ball, um, uh, it, it could be skewed. You can't throw into it very well. But a long ball could be taken. And, uh, I see a Kroll over there warming up, and he's just lobbing the ball in the air, just trying to get a feel of how the ball carries into the wind. But to everybody uh, here still in the stands, they are faithful uh, to the fact that Wizards can come back. We've seen this team tack a bunch of touchdowns on in a row, and that's certainly possible. They started doing a few good things, Randy. They just dug a hole right away, and it's just so tough. I don't care what level you play at. You give another team a couple of short fields, they get 10 points out of it, and all of a sudden uh, a little doubt creeps in, and Broomfield, to their credit, playing great defense, and then their run game started clicking in the second quarter. Yeah, and you see the Wizards there getting warmed up, and again, this is a vastly different situation that they've got to play in uh, than what it was about an hour ago. And you're right, you know, the last thing you wanted to do was give the Broomfield Eagles the thought that they could actually win this game coming in a 15 and two seed, but they've done more than that. The Eagles yeah. have come in and said, hey, we're here and we're, uh, I mean, that right now you would wonder who the 15 and the two seed were well, from it, the first it's, half it's of the judged game. by the season now, certainly Windsor, this is not the game we've seen them play several times this year, so that was a bad first quarter for them, couldn't get much worse. But uh, as the game goes along, you know, we've seen them start to do things offensively. Credit Broomfield taking away the wide game. They really have done a good job with that. And uh, Coach Hubbard and his uh, staff uh, schemed that out pretty well. And I, I have no doubt Coach Jones and his staff will come up with something for that second half. Is it enough? Now they're going to kick off to Broomfield. And uh, I'm almost going to guess I get to play coach for a second. But uh, I think they probably want to kick and, kick and make uh, Broomfield go into the wind, try to make their offense very one-dimensional and uh, just stack the line, stop that run, because that run tore them up. If you can't stop the run, the game's over. Well, and what was interesting is uh, Broomfield came out and really started passing to start the game. And so you, you wondered, OK, what's what's up here? And then all of a sudden, about the third drive, they just turned into bully ball. And they literally just. Yeah. Garner and Torres were running physical. They ran the wide sweep several times. I mean, they were, they were hitting it on an average of probably eight, nine yards a carry and uh, just moving it along. And it's one of those things, like you say, if you, if you can 
throw it a bit and uh, you found something you like to run and you know, I'd say credit both sides of Broomfield up front the way they're playing so well this game their defensive lines played really well um, making plays allowing those, those outside linebackers in just to, to take that uh, edge away and then all of a sudden if you're oh wow I'm just I'm kind of surprised here Windsor's going to kick off and they're going to go into the wind so I guess they're going to want to try to have that win in the fourth quarter, but uh, you got to catch up first, don't you? Yeah, then, and, and you know this first drive, as uh, as we both know, uh, tone setting. That's yeah, that's. Uh, so anyway, folks, again, we want to thank our our sponsor for this game. Rogue Hammer, the kicker. You're gonna have to hold there. Associates of Family Medicine, again, making this all possible. Thanks to them, right, Randy? Yes. So, Brogammer, she's had a really good season, but uh, it's going to be tough for anybody to kick into a breeze this strong. There's nothing out of that north end zone to block the, block the wind. Well, Drives it job. low, though. Nice job of kicking down, taking it to the 15-yard line. Broomfield heading straight up field, though, about near the 40, still going forward, spilled, and uh, knocked down. Nice, solid tackle. Every single one of the running backs that we've seen from Broomfield runs downhill, don't they? They like those pads out in front of them, don't they? That's that's the way you want to do it. Uh, Tate Gallatin, number two on the tackle that time for the Wizards. And uh, it's just a, it's a time for the defense, for the Wizards to make a play, get a takeaway. You know, you need to give uh, Broomfield maybe, like I said, they played a very mistake-free first half. I think their first penalty was down near the goal line, and they overcame that. Other than maybe one procedure penalty earlier than that that I forgot about. But boy, they played really well first half. Yeah. So, Corral back out. Two flankers. Running back set to his side. Torres left side give. No, Garner, excuse me, 33, takes it upfield once again. Boy, they're just, they're, they're running their wide sweeps. Guys are putting a hat on a hat and not giving up the, the edge. And uh, they're, they're driving it down. And really, at this point, if, if you can gain five yards every run, Broomfield has absolutely no reason to put the ball in the air. No. Nope. Nassar clear over here out by the numbers, just basically taking the defender out of the equation by split that far. Garner again, left side sweep. First down yardage just enough or very close to it. Might be just a bit short. So, folks, what happens here in Colorado is a front comes in. <laughs> and uh, the thing about it, it's supposed to be significantly warmer tomorrow. Yeah, it'll take that cold air and get it a long <laughs> way from here. It's, I mean, it, it's a brilliant blue sky, but it is breezy. And if you were sitting home having a iced tea, it'd be great, too. So. so, third and short, big stop here. Coming up, high snap, curl goes forward. Just quarterback drive past the... Yard to gain, first down, Broomfield. And this is just what you want to do, Broomfield, right there, Randy. They get three runs, got a first down, line it up, do it again. You know, the clock's running. David Haas along with Brandon McCoy. Tucker Hamilton on camera here today, bringing this playoff game here at Windsor, Colorado. Broomfield, though, leads 24 to nothing. Just a little variation on their ISO play from before. Turns around, makes a shovel pass to uh, Garner as he comes underneath, carries it forward for about eight yards. I mean, what their first down plays have been just crushing. Well, that's you know that's what offensive coordinators do when they sleep at night and dream, isn't it? Yeah. Seven seven yards on a first down on a yeah, run. I got, I got second less than five. I just get smarter all the time. Motion sets back. Play change coming from the sideline. Starts the count again. Running back sets straight up middle ISO play. Dives forward. Would be just short of the 35-yard line. So Dave, me and you have been to plenty of fall baseball games. <laughs> the win just won with all the paper that I had. 
Wow. Yeah, we're up here in an area that's kind of exposed. High atop. I'm sure glad that didn't hit you in the... Thank you. As play goes on down in front of us, all I did was lean back and uh, paperwork went flying, thanks to the local fans. And here comes some more. <laughs> oh, God. It all back. I don't know what all, do of this, it. all the day's bra brains just yeah, blew, blew all over the field. Yeah, well, that's an, I think that's not all of it. I think someone went further. Yeah, and, in the uh, midst of all of that, our brave the, camera operator over yeah, here who yeah. Tucker, you should have got in front of that. Barely has a jacket on. First and ten, though. In the meanwhile, Broomfield still marching. Give again, corner straight up the middle, rumbled forward. And once again, you know, it's one thing to score if you're Windsor. It's another thing of You've got to stop the other team. Well, this is once again, we're down 8-10 to play. They're going to snap the ball, Randy, uh, having second down and two. They're going to snap the ball with less than uh, eight minutes to play. So they've run the ball for four minutes. Did put the ball in the air. It's a statement, Dry Boy. If, you, if we saw that on camera there, though, the ball, the umpire had to go replace the ball. is laying on the ground and it blew away. Toss left side, Torres heads up field, got one blocker out there, made the edge inside the 10, near the five yard line. I mean, that, they're, they're running they're, a variation of about three different plays, aren't they? They yeah. favor that left side, something. And they remind they're you a little bit of Monarch and uh, they're yeah. <laughs> running the same play. Yeah, yeah. And if, it's, if, you, if you can't stop it, they're not gonna change it. And that's really, sports in general you know if the defense oh, yeah. can't uh, got an iso over here to the right but i can't imagine why they put it in the air they've yeah nasser's all i'd say basically so why he's outside the number he's just taking the defender out of the play garner straight up field drives though into the pile nice job of stuffing that i think bo little and uh, uh also number 27 if i dare to try to pull the papers out again and, and uh, <laughs> take a look my clipboard. Uh, Folks, let me tell you what we do here. We Poor, poor lady in front of me uh, just about She just got, about got. Yeah, that would have been a bad bad way to go today. Second and goal to go now. Toss left side. Torres once again tries to get up front. Stiff arms one defender. Gets near the pylon. Knocked out of bounds just short. Nice job of coming across and making the play. The quarter came up though and got a whole lot of Mr. Torrey's hand, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, he did, yeah. It did run him out of bounds. So if you're Broomfield, that's, that's certainly not what you're looking for. Fortunately, it was warm enough to start today, folks, that we're not just absolutely frigid. And he's going to go over for right touchdown. Over and it is. It's in the end zone. I was. I actually gave that last run. It should have been Garner, not Torres. That was my bad. But either way, they're going forward. And with 7:02 left here in the third, it's now 30 to nothing. PAT pending for Mike. Long-armed quarterback there, just jumped up and yeah. just put the ball yeah, over. La la Tom Brady. So in a stunning so far game here at Windsor Field, and Ike once again knocks the PAT, just about kicked it into the refreshment stand down there. And again, you see the clock there, 7.02 left here in the yeah, third quarter. Five minute drive to start the second half. And uh, Broomfield has done very little wrong today. I mean, they have absolutely no, they've Just taken played taken a flawless great, game so yeah, far. They've taken great care of the ball, and, and unfortunately for Windsor, as it started out right away for them, they had the ball get away from them, and uh, it became a. Uh, uh, what well, was just a, a trend? Just a, yeah, just a hole they couldn't get out of, and then Broomfield just kind of warmed up and got to start really teeing off, and it's just become tougher and tougher. Well, and you know the other thing is. Uh, Broomfield has not made mistakes to give Windsor a chance to get back in this game either because exactly a lot of times right. that's the only way you get back in it. Uh, and I'll guarantee you they're going to have to hold this football. Yeah, this, I don't know why <laughs> they even started off thinking that was going to do anything. Gonna but, say, yeah. Your clipboard flew off of here like a well, I, I, yeah, flying saucer. For, so. for, for distance. 
Well, I'm thinking right now I kicks this in well into the uh, back into the field. Good height on this one though. It's hanging up. Going to be taken about the one yard line, but it does break the plane. Ramirez really wanted to take that out, didn't he? Yeah, he was. And your feet could be in the end zone, the body could be in the end zone, the ball cannot break the plane. Just like a touchdown, a touchback is the same ruling in high school football. And uh, he brought it straight out, uh, tried to, but uh, the referee said, nope, you're starting first and 10 at your own 20. And even the clock keeper got fooled because uh, it took the second off. I'm not sure anybody's gonna mind. First and 10 now, single back, slip. Left, left side, Ramirez on the sweep, turns up field, nice cut. Trying to go backfield, now there was, he had more yardage going straight forward, Randy, but right now I think they're trying to, you know, what can I do to make that big play? Yeah, and that's uh, some ways kind of like a baseball player trying to hit a five run home run. Mm -hmm. Another sad thing in Colorado sports today is Roy Holiday. Yeah, and we'll talk about it, uh, we're really, Tough thing that happened in Northern Colorado here recently yeah, just too. just Thursday night. So second and five now for the Wizards. Fake, Apodaca tries to sneak up field and spins out of a tackle. But uh, by the time he spun around and got away from number 76 for He was upfield and the rest of the pursuit got there. Nice tackle by Aiden Collins, number 89, the sophomore. 5.50 to play here in the third. I mean, it, it's it's a win, Randy. I mean, it's third and short. I don't even know how well you throw into this. I mean, you've got to, you know, the defensive back knows they can dig in at about six yards. The ball's gonna flutter around and unless you spin a real tight spiral, give right side, fake, well, it's... pulls it forward and ball's on the ground, spun out there. And it rains, it pours right now if you're a Windsor Wizard fan. Ball got away. Apodaca's trying to make that extra yard and uh, trying to go, go through it. Uh, and actually, he's down on the play. So with that play and the fumble recovery made by Broomfield, they'll take over about the 30-yard line. And, and uh, we just want to take a moment now, too. We, you know, we talked about Roy Holiday, but uh, boy, close to home to all those in Northern Colorado, especially us, and uh, most specifically, Poudre High School. Uh, a terrible loss up there this uh, this week. Randy, Josh Cortez, a junior defensive end for them, a young man we've seen play the last couple of years for the, uh, the Impalas, and his mom were uh, just tragically killed in a car accident after a team meal. Um, uh, Poudre lost last night to Pomona, and uh, that did a, in perspective, that didn't mean a thing. They had a great season, they all know that, but yeah. uh, we're looking at a, a, a time where um, you, you go back to that family that is a team, don't you? Yeah, and uh, again, I saw that and just saw you know, what it was. Pomona did a wonderful thing, uh, really supported them last night in the game. I believe I saw today they raised $1,500 to help yeah. uh, the family, and we don't know anything else about their family. But uh, we our, will, uh, if we find something out, we will put it out on Twitter and uh, follow that because, uh, like I say, those things, uh, the, the loss of life there makes everything yeah. else uh, just completely go away. But I, if anything, Randy, the wind here is getting stronger. Yeah, so we're going to take a break here, and we'll be back after this message. You're watching Stream and Sports.
back here now after the uh, injury. Good news, Connor Apodaca was able to walk off on his own. Uh, change in quarterback though, and before the play, it was not a fumble called, so Windsor did keep the ball and did get the first down. Now playing quarterback is Chase Lancrete for the Wizards, and uh, Randy, it's a tough time to come in, but they got a chance to drive one down still. This is when everybody else has to, you know, kind of pick it up and go. Lancrete, six foot five, 205 pound junior. Experience for next year. Sweep left side, turns it upfield, got an edge, moving forward. But as we see and we've talked about, you know, this is this is not what's going to get him back in the game is four yeah. yard. Uh, yeah. And, you know, if it was no score first quarter, they'd be great plays. But well, and that's that's the thing when you uh, uh, come out in the third quarter and you defer for the choice. They're kicking off. I thought they'd take the wind, but uh, did not. And. Uh, Moving into it right now, 4.20 to play here in the third quarter. Motion right side, option. Lankery did a nice job just getting out of his hands, but still gonna be a loss in the play about three or four. But I tell you, Broomfield just did a great job. Up. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> now, now you're in the game. But uh, Broomfield, Randy, just a great job on any outside plays. They're, they're not losing leverage at all. They're, they more than tough not to making a play behind the line of scrimmage, aren't they? Yeah, it's. It's been uh, impressive and surprising, but again, we have not seen Broomfield play. You look at their record, six and four. Uh, I don't think anybody would have predicted this yeah. type of uh, Well, now here's, game. The, here's, here's a very big play here too. You're gonna try to punt into this and- uh, 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 This may go backwards. Garner, folks, Garner. We're, we're, not, we're not joking, folks. Yeah. The, the wind is that strong. Timeout's going to be taken. Timeout taken by Broomfield. They had some substitution issues. So we'll keep it here. We want to talk about our sponsors today. One of the things at a playoff game, a little separate out of the broadcast, we did, you know, we've had all year long, we've had uh, great sponsorships from uh, Peterson Toyota and Schrader Oil, along with First Bank, but today is a special one. Yes, we got Associates of Family Medicine have been providing quality family care to the Northern Colorado community for over 50 years. So we're happy to have them part of uh, this particular broadcast. I also have another new sponsor that will you'll be hearing about Very come soon. December 5th. Our uh, next broadcast is basketball. Indoors, out of the wind. Fossil Ridge <laughs> and Golden will be our kickoff basketball game. We'll also be bringing you some Windsor High School uh, basketball games as well, about 10 a game, a uh, package of about 10 games. So if you're uh, interested in being, becoming a part of our sponsorship family, uh, please email me at rmccoy at streamitsports.com. That's R-M-C-C-O-Y, streamitsports.com. Snap, Ramirez runs to his right, takes off, runs, fakes it, gets the first down yardage. It. Great call there, the senior. And that is why high schools run the rugby style kick, yeah, it? because and they can make a, a chance. call. Well, and you got a, you got a, you got a tough, smart runner in, in Ramirez there, and. And uh, he solved it there, and, and it, you know, I, Broomfield right now is kind of standing still a little bit more than they were. They're not attacking like they had. And well, the temperature is the same down there as it is up here, so <laughs> yeah. if you stand around a little bit, you're going to be cold. Well, I think I just saw a Wyoming license plate fly by. Yeah. <laughs> 3.25 left here in the third quarter. First and 10, though. Wizards keep the ball after the fake. Sweep coming back this side. Gets to the outside. Makes one cut. Dips it in. First down yardage across the 50. Down to about the 46. Another first down, so. Yeah. yeah, Ramirez just a smart runner on that sweep, isn't he? Yeah, giving the fans, uh, giving the fans a little bit of uh, something to cheer about here is yep. uh, nothing worse than being Run. cold in, yeah. seeing your team not well, play well, how you we're expected we're, Yeah, we're <laughs> close to that area where you're playing for pride right now, and uh, Windsor right now, that means getting a touchdown. You gotta do it one at a time. Splits both sides. Motion right side, fake. Option to Ramirez, turns up field, slips through one tackle, takes off the hat of the defender. That's a stiff arm, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that is. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah, and uh, credit number 55. Keaton. And in high school, you've got to <laughs> yeah, yeah. take high a playoff. High school, college, that's, that's uh, the DeCamillis there, the uh, senior. You know, 6'3", 268, Randy, he's downfield, you know, chasing the option pitch man, making a play. That, and that epitomizes how Broomfield's played today, don't you think? Yeah, they have flown to the ball. Uh, 
Yeah, been a very impressive team, mistake free for the most part. Sweep again, left side Ramirez, basically just takes the blocker, says you gotta get going. Yeah, you, if you're gonna block for me, you're gonna have to get out of the way and. Uh, Well, I, you know what? One good Fair. thing about this wind, I don't know how many yellow flags we're going to have because those things are going to fly all over the place. Some have to go chase them. We we know these officials well. We've seen them do a lot of Northern Colorado games, and uh, they don't get to do playoff games unless they're pretty accomplished. But uh, my guys, the back judge now, you could back about another 15 yards and still hit the hit the offensive line, couldn't you? Yeah. You could bring it in. <laughs> 219 to play here, clock in the third quarter. They're in short sleeves because it was nice yeah. when the game started. Yep. Yeah. Sweep right side, game give. Oh, and, look at that go! Just as I called it. <laughs> wow! As a 25-yard toss on a, a two-inch wet, two-ounce weight. I'll tell you what, man. I'm glad that didn't hit somebody. Jaden Trout there on the sweep. The senior took it around the right side, gained about 12, 13 yards. Um, penalties be downfield. We'll get that coming from the referee here in a second. That far downfield, almost got. I think we're gonna have a holding call or legal use of hands. Credit to the Windsor fans. A tough day to watch a game, but then also a tough day uh, to sit here in the cold. So, yeah, personal foul face mask called. So it's a, a big penalty. Down over with the ball moved back to the 45 yard line. They need to get inside the 30 or the 27 yard line for the yard to gain. So it'll bring up first down again, but. Uh, We apologize, folks, for the uh, wind noise on our mics, but we do not have the crowd mic. That's just the mi wind going into our yeah, uh, mics that we're yeah, talking yeah, into. We're doing so. this alfresco, aren't we? Yeah. Dive, <laughs> option left side, kicks it out to his running back. Kind of held on that a little too long. That's what's kind of being new to the game is like, but. Uh, 23. Yeah. And, and he, Take a bow. That was a heck yeah, of a play, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that really was. Nicely done downfield to uh, Trace Hermiel. And uh, it was there, you know, it just a little different there, the speed of the game, because that was, uh, you know, a play made there by Landcreek. He took an extra step or two. He's got to give his back a little bit more room. That's just playing time. That's, that's part of the option is timing. So second down is lost in the play. Fullback gives straight up the middle. Montague goes forward for just a couple. And we talk about four down territory, Randy. I mean, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't even know if it's, you know, if you're going to punt effectively into that. Although you, you could probably give it as good a pop as you want. And you're not going to get into the end zone. Might be better off to just throw a long pass, but try to keep it low. Well, there's good chance that this will be the last play of the third quarter. It's under 30 seconds to play as Windsor breaks the huddle. Two split far to the top side. Ankrey back to throw, looks here to the left, tried to fire one up there, the ball just caught in the wind and he's gonna get an offensive call. So there you go. That's, that's what you gotta do. The ball had no chance of getting to him and an easy pass interference call. Peterson was trying to get by the corner who just kind of made strong contact. And that's, that's, that's what you get for being aggressive, you know? It's like, you know yeah. what, let's throw the ball down there, see what happens. Again, all that was. Well, I mean, in Lankrit, the ball took off nice. He's got plenty of arm to get there, but unless you spin it really tight, and when I talk about spinning, I mean put a point on that thing like a fine pencil, because otherwise it's just going to, you know, it's going to flutter and it goes straight to the ground. It balls well short. So third and short now, though, after the penalty. Toss left side, got the edge, moving up field. And what a great job there, Randy, number two. Preston May, he come flying up there they on the outside, in, didn't They he? closed in yeah. quick, didn't they? Yeah. Ball marked near first down territory, and it is. And you can tell these uh, Windsor folks, if they've lived here in Colorado, this is this is no big surprise. This, uh, And that's going to be the last play of this quarter. So with our score, a surprising 31 to nothing. Broomfield ahead of Windsor. You're watching Stream of Sports.
we're back here getting ready for the fourth quarter. And uh, again, as we've said, what started as a balmy 60 degrees on November oh, 11, we were bragging about it's just amazing that mm -hmm. pleasant golf weather. Golf weather, and now you've got people in parkas, and it's uh, it's got to be we we lost 10 degrees at least. Well, and I lost several sheets of paper and research <laughs> and stats. There's somewhere down there in the crowd. That creek tries to turn around up field and uh, gains a couple. But on my iPhone, the temperature hasn't changed, so. Yeah. Again, this is uh, will be our final football broadcast. The winner of this game goes to play Loveland. Loveland, who's got a little ax to grind. Yeah, with everybody in with, 4A. Yeah, with everybody. Especially Chassa. And, and they beat uh, Chatfield last night rather handily. Well, either one of these teams, I figured playing Loveland would be a pretty good game. And uh, as it stands right now, 31 to nothing, Board Broomfield's ready. Try to get the sweep right side, one, heading up field. A couple, couple of nice slip tackles there. Down near the 20 yard line. You know, Windsor has just not been able to get any separation no. from anybody yeah. in any play, really. I mean, it's been amazing to watch. Well, second and short, actually third and short coming up now, and uh, he got, well, actually more like four yards to go. I thought he got a better spot than that. You know, I feel bad for those that cheer squad down there. They they yeah. came dressed in their <laughs> usual outfits on the day when you expect usual sunny, yeah. <laughs> sunny yeah. outfits. Yeah. <laughs> Tough way to make a living today. Fullback gives straight up the middle dive play. Down near the 17-yard line, the yard to gain. I'm taking the line judge. He's going to say it's a little short. And they are bringing up fourth down. Certainly, this this uh, part of the field, you would go for it. If you joined us late, the starting quarterback was injured for yeah. Windsor. Yeah, Connor Apodaca took a pretty good shot earlier and uh, not a game worth putting him back into right now. No. Dive right side. Lankreed follows it up though. Spins out of one tackle. Nice run by the junior down side the 10. He was half a step from getting in the end zone, wasn't he? Yeah. Big, big six foot five quarterback. Good to see that Apodac is up on the sideline, has his helmet on. That's probably just to keep warm. I don't think it would take uh, something extraordinary for him to go back in the game. Tough way to go out as a senior, but uh, the smart way. Toss right side, got the edge, got the corner, looking at the end zone, and, and he's in. Got a flag, too. And, and we got another one. So now we've got some extracurricular and activity. somebody just got tossed. Well, frustration kind of boiling over there. The one flag, though, may negate the touchdown. We don't know what that call is going to be. We know what the other call is going to be. We'll see here. Oh. And then an unsportsmanlike conduct fall after that. And an ejection. And uh, referee didn't. So the touchdown's going to be wiped off. Ball's going to be moved back 15 yards from the point of the foul and an additional 15 yards. So the ball now is going to be close to about the 32 yard line. And that white hat, I think we know him, but he, he wasn't gonna have any of any of that, was he? No, no. And uh, the umpire was on that call right away. And uh, now- Not it, here, not today. We're, no, you well, know. And, and that is not, it's <laughs> just, it was one moment and uh, a good player lost his head for just a moment, learn from it. That was the first 15 yarder. So trying to, you rarely see that, a face mask on the well, offensive it, team. And it's it's almost could be more of a uh, uh, an offensive lineman hands of the face of a defender. Right. So what looked like their first touchdown and now puts them back at the 30. Yeah, and first and goal from the 30. Yeah, so. Not attempted to pass yet, 930 yet to play. This time going back. Out and up, trying to throw the pattern on the outside. Still looking, 
Boy, the ball just sailed some, that took off like it, yeah. it got up in the jet stream, didn't it? Yeah, well, well he's, he's got to aim it a little farther left to, for it to, and play the wind, I believe. Yeah. Well, kind of like you do in your golf shot. Exactly. When you got a finesse game like mine, that's what it is. <laughs> no, that that ball, that, that that thing took off and then just started tailing and then headed south. It uh, was was close on the edge and then became 10 yards further downfield than planned. So second. Fullback gives straight up the middle. Guys, feet still in Mont Montague. Randy rumbling down near the 15-yard line. I love the play call. Gain about 15 there. Brings up third down. Clock running will be under probably about 8.50 to play here in the fourth. Credit Windsor for turning around and just keeping right at it. Toss left side. Got the outside edge. Broomfield coming up though and making a high tackle. A tough one. Folks, let me tell you a little bit about 4A sports up here in the northern part of Colorado. Uh, there's not really much difference in 4A and 5A in the quality of sports up here. In Broomfield, Windsor are two communities that's been playing each other a long time, as, as is Loveland, yep. as is. Yep. So, uh, you know, Broomfield's getting them this time, it looks like. But Windsor's had its share. Yeah, well, we talk about, you know, earlier Pine Creek came up here and won the second game of the year uh, over Windsor at just 10 to nothing. So that shows you the level that Windsor can play at. This this game is not indicative of their season whatsoever. No. When they, you know, like I say, you just start out in a hole and then credit uh, Broomfield for keeping the gas pedal down. And, and just uh, keep digging it. That, yeah, they kept yeah. digging for them. Fourth and goal here. Blitz coming. Broomfield dialed up right time and uh, Lankreet's down. So that will end the uh, drive. It'll be a turnover on downs with eight minutes left. And that might be the proverbial dagger right there. Yeah, well, I'm afraid that might have been even earlier, but uh, that, that was a tough one there. If you look at the, you know, the, the just say, you know, the hole from the two penalties. And you, and you look at you, you look at the way I say they did. They ran the they had they had quite quite a drive going there and, and had nine, it for quite nine a, minutes, nineteen yeah. plays. We just well, most of it on the run. Except passing is just about impossible right now. And it's right the, now Windsor has got to really toughen up because they've got a couple of big fullbacks coming through the middle that yeah. if they're not careful will uh, break one. And there's the first one. Yeah, pile made right there in the middle and. Good job. Well, by and, the and, and Broomfield right now, I, I Coach Hubbard's got way too much respect for Coach Jones. Too. These guys have been around. Jones, like say, his tenth year here at Wizard with the Wizards. But uh, you, now you got to play smart, and uh, you just want to get out of here. Yeah. You, you want to get this done, and, and uh, on knowing, either team, knowing you got to uh, to play next week, and uh, uh, that's what sets it up. So it looks like Loveland and Broomfield will be the quarterfinals. Taking their time on that starting count. Wow, gonna throw. Throwback play here at the far side, completed. Kroll hits his man. Basically threw across the body. That was, that was showed some pretty good arm strength there because uh, on second and eight, putting one in the air across the, th it's kind of a dangerous pass, frankly. Yeah, well, and you know, don't you think maybe that's one that they he wanted to see if they can run that for next week? Possibly. Uh, that's that's the, I think an excellent point. I that mean, they right might now, need that. Yeah, well, Windsor had nine guys in the box, and they're just going to say, okay, we think you're just going to run it only. You know, you, but uh, we still got plays we want to call, and uh, uh, they executed it pretty well. And I like said that just that would show some arm strength. Under seven now, clock ticking away. Curl just taking his time, waiting for the count coming for the back judge each time. Motion right side, fullback give again though. Gorman takes it straight up the middle. 
And even really, don't you think? Even in the, the cheerleaders having a hard time throwing candy. I don't think they're getting above the 10th row. Well, we say get one up here because yep. I'm hungry. <laughs> It would take a pretty good arm from one of the young ladies <laughs> to hit us up here at the top of the stands. And if she did, I think the coaches would turn around and say, uh, what, what year yeah. are you? Well, you know, uh, a lot of nice traditions here at Windsor High School, and uh, oh, it's been our pleasure to broadcast community. five football games this year. And this is uh, what a great atmosphere they put on here. Under six to play, clock ticking. Windsor just lets it go down. So, excuse me, Broomfield let it go down. Windsor back on defense and uh, close to first down yardage. He might have gotten it. And most of most of those uh, they did. Wizards not in a very good mood right now. So no, uh, it's tough. It's tough to lose and it's tough to lose anyway. I mean, I say now it's one of those things you just keep your head about you, play hard, and and everybody and, loses their last game except one. Yep. So that's the yeah. here in the background maybe you can maybe you can't the band's still playing we've kind of just become accustomed now to the wind <laughs> yeah it's uh, it's something else inside give Broomfield straight at the middle tackled by a host of wizards and probably about two more first downs and yeah and don't you think in the second quarter when those uh when Torres and and number seven, Gorman, just started ripping the ball up the yeah. middle. That was the, that was the difference in the game, don't you think? Yeah, I, I, I've said several times the uh, the play between the, the 50s, 60s, and 70s guys has been stellar for Broomfield today. They've really handled the line of scrimmage, shut down Windsor's offense pretty well. Obviously, they got a shutout, so you can say they've done very well. And uh, they've really held the line of scrimmage. And some of those guys play both ways, too. I've noticed that. So that's the, that's the plus for that, that offense. Uh, Nice to the play on the outside again. Toss right side, moving it downfield. And to a man, everybody who's carried the ball puts their head down and tries to run over the mm -hmm. person that's going to get ready to tackle them. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that's there's a, no juking no. <laughs> at Broomfield, is there? Uh -huh. <laughs> and let me tell you, folks, from someone who's from two people who've played that, there's nothing like somebody coming at you with their head down full speed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's when coaching. And you did it at a very high level, but. That's when coaching takes over your brain because your brain says you should do that Olay and let them go right on by, but you stand there like those defensive backs have done today and we've seen all year long. Come up, you make the hit, secure a good tackle. If they use your body as a speed bump, that's still okay, they got them down. Fake, toss left side. And a, just a great play coming up there. Ramirez from his uh, linebacker spot, just submarine Gorman. So second and nine after that first down, as you said, Randy, just a couple more will do it. They're down to 3.15 to play here in the fourth quarter. And uh, Coral doing a nice job of managing the offense for the Eagles. Well, and that's, I think that's been the surprise of everybody is just how uh, ball controlling Broomfield's been. It all starts up front. Motion, toss left side again, made the edge, goes up field. And uh, went out of Go, bounds. Goes out of, goes out of bounds to the chagrin of almost everybody. Yes. Or take on the carry. Most notably, Coach Hubbard. Yeah. And you know, no. When it comes down to it, no coach really wants to be in this position, win or lose, because you know you've got kids out there that. Yeah, playing hard, both playing sides hard. hard. You really do just want to get out of here without any broken bones or anything. So. Well, yeah, you want you want to be as full strength as you can going forward here. 250 to play. Third and seven now. Snap, Gorman in motion. Going to throw, fires a quick downfield, hits Nasser. And you know, the difference in that throw and what we saw in the first quarter is again, he was muscling up. You could tell the young man was, you know, hyped for the game. Yeah. But uh, right there, he just slowed down, good motion. Flipped his feet and threw a dart, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Peoples on the tackle downfield. Good looking quarterback. Boy, he's got all the skills, doesn't he? Yeah. And the height and the. Just got that look. Oh, he's got a good he? delivery. 
So first and 10 now, and 220 to play and counting. Um, yeah, now, like I said, look at the back judge. We're just trying to do the math here. I think you could just, you run it three times here. You can, fourth is kind of what do you want to do. Inside give, and uh, Coach Hubbard is getting a lot of guys into the game, getting carries now, getting stats in the playoffs. That's a pretty fun thing to do. Nice job, Windsor, though, making the piles up there in the middle. One notable career that will come to end today, looks like for the Wizards, is uh, Zach Watts, Randy, a uh, uh, stellar lineman. Yes. Going to go to the University of Wyoming and uh, uh, join a pretty good football team they got up there. So good yeah. luck to him. We know that uh, Ramirez, uh, young Ramirez, is going to go to St. Bonaventure, but playing lacrosse. And there's a lot of athletes on this field that get a chance to go play in uh, this sport and other sports for a school somewhere. And, you know, that's what keeps the dream alive, doesn't it? That is. And Back judge makes his count now under 122 and counting. Motion again, give Gorman straight up the middle on that fullback drive. Four down near the 16 yard line. And really folks, let me tell you, it's not this easy. <laughs> you know? No. I mean, no. Broomfield got this ball with nine minutes left. No, they're, they're. And have just meticulously been the story of the game. Yeah, and, and it's no they different have than the They have quarter. dominated up front both sides of the ball. Now we're under a minute to play. Again, want to thank Associates of Family Medicine for broadcasting or sponsoring the broadcast of this game. And in a huge, huge upset, a 15 versus two, and they're going to, Windsor's going to call a timeout. You know, it, I'm not sure why and, they did that. I didn't know if well, I looked away, maybe there'd been somebody well, I th getting a little more familiar. Putting but, my uh, coach his hat on, yeah. I think he wants to go out there and say, hey guys, keep your head up. This happens to everybody. We're gonna be a class act as yeah, we finish yeah. this thing. Yeah, congratulate him. Congratulate and, uh, him and move on and, and that. So that's that would be my gut. There's not an athlete that's competed in any sport that hasn't been on the bad side of a beat down. And uh, th that's all right. That, like I said, it doesn't take anything away from a very good season the Wizards have had. They'll finish nine and two. Um, really did well, won their conference, all those things that uh, 25, 30 years ago, that later as, as old men like us, they'll say, you know what, we were pretty good. Yeah, we were really good. And nobody will ever remember this. And if you're Broomfield, you got to be really pumped that you came in a 15 seed yeah. and just on the road knocked off the to see how they go for it. I mean, when, when, you know, going, beating Windsor one thing, then now playing Loveland, uh, that will be another. So fourth down, toss right side, cuts up field, got the first down. That will certainly do it, under 27 to play. They'll just stop the clock and they can just place the ball and that will do it here at Windsor High School. And if you're a Windsor Wizard, another football season goes by and you know next September when they play their first game, it'll be just as exciting as it is every single year yeah, and there'll oh be yeah. a new crop. Of look, look forward to coming back. Yes, and that's gonna end it. Clock winding down now under 10 seconds. Players on both sides congratulating them. You know what, it just wasn't Windsor's day. Credit Broomfield for that. And uh, coaches are going back and forth and uh, giving there. And you see the Broomfield fans across the way cheering. A nice turnout by them. Great turnout here on the, of course, as always, on the home side by the Wizards. So anyway, that's going to be a wrap for us, for Tyler, Tyler, Tucker, Hamilton, David Haas. This is Randy McCoy. We'll see you at basketball. Final score, 31 to nothing. Big upset for Broomfield over Windsor. We'll see you next time. It's Windsor 4A Playoff Football, presented by Associates in Family Medicine. Live on Stream It Sports, Northern Colorado, has been brought to you by Schrader Oil. Fuel your day. By Associates in Family Medicine in Northern Colorado. Be heard, be well. By Peterson Toyota in Fort Collins. Everything cars made easy. And by First Bank. Visit any of our convenient locations in Northern Colorado. First Bank.